I'm Louis Theroux and these are my most memorable moments. I, 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 I can't say, I, I want to say I've always been fascinated by wrestling. I can't, I haven't. I did watch a bit of wrestling in the 70s, uh, but I was, you know, sometimes like the ideas that you think that you reach for at the end of, it was, it was the end of the second season of Weird Weekends and you think, well, we haven't got any other ideas. This is the only thing in the hopper. Uh, we've got to do wrestling. And, and then it turns out to be amazing. And the reason why in this case was um, I, I made this elementary mistake well I you know it wasn't really a mistake I mean I think I knew what I was doing when I said to one of the uh, head wrestlers uh, you know how do you know what you're going to do when you get in in the ring in other words how do you plan your fights because I understood that it was um, staged right that this kind of wrestling um, this kind of entertainment based character based wrestling was choreographed I don't even know. Is it controversial to say that now? I, I mean, I don't know. Maybe it is. I hope I'm not going to get into more trouble. But that was how I. Uh, that's that was the situation as I understood it. And then, they, they, but you're not supposed to say that, okay? So when I went to train, as, as a sort of end light, a kind of light sequence in the program, I was supposed to go and train with these wrestlers at a place called the Power Plant, and it had, word had got round that I'd asked this question. And they've, they'd taken against me because of it. And in particular, the head trainer there called Sarge, the man, in fact, who, of whom I'd asked the question originally, had been fuming about it for, for, ever since I asked it, which was, you know, a week or two before. And so he decided it was his moment to exact revenge. And the situation just got out of hand where I was, to begin with, I thought it's kind of funny he was training. He was making me train, and then when I said, "Well, I can't really do any more. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm too tired, and I'm starting to hurt," and he, he would, he just started shouting abuse at me, and then when I tried to run away, he physically, um, kind of dragged me out of the dressing room, and and uh, pushed me back into the ring, and it was just this mounting, um, kind of t- tension and and anger, and and it, it just sort of got worse and worse, and. It's an amazing, it's an amazing bit of you know weird sort of testosterone fueled kind of um, mob psychology. You shut your eyes in that bucket. Turn around, face me. Get to the one. You look at that one. Don't bring your head on. Okay. 